This is going to be tough on you, but there's no other way of putting this. Tina needs surgery, emergency surgery, if we're to save her sight. What? She has a rare retinal vascular disease. Now, in the initial stages, it only causes a temporary loss of vision, but it will eventually lead to total blindness. I, are you sure? I know this comes as a shock to you. So when, when do we start the treatment? I'm afraid it's going to cost you about $40,000. But she will be okay. It's not 100% certain, but there's a very good chance we can save her eyes. But we must act fast. Lovely to see you. Uh, Fiona, how are you today? Yeah, good, thanks, Peter. That's good. Peter, shouldn't you be resting? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, you've done enough work for the day and, and you really need to be getting your rest. Very well, if you insist. Is that comfortable? I, I'm, that's, I'm fine, yes. And what have you been up to? Drawing. What more drawings? Let's have a look. Goodness me. So many tiny fishes. No, they're eyes. Oh. <laughs> what are these? Birds? No, it's you. Me? So you think I can fly? <laughs> now, I've got a surprise for you. Now, close your eyes. I'm watching. Okay. Open. Thank you. Fiona, how's your bathroom tap? Is it all right or is it still dripping? Um, no, it's, it's all good. Peter, I'm sorry I was late with the rent last week. That's all right. Uh, Fiona, you seem to be a little bit lost these days. What's bothering you? Nothing. Everything's fine. Are you trying to hide something from me? What's the matter? Peter, I've just been working a lot and I'm tired, that's all. Very well. Now, just let me know if I can be of use. Hi, how's it going? Yeah. Could you do room 314 when you're finished? Yeah, sure. Um, Steve, I was wondering, did you get a chance to talk to the boss yet? Not really. Why was it urgent? Look, I couldn't speak to him in detail since he was going overseas. And besides, I doubt the boss has any provision for a loan. If you tell me what it's for, perhaps I can help you in some way? It's OK. Thanks. Maybe we can talk about it later.
You should have informed us about her condition. Today she fell and hurt herself. She could hurt other children as well. It's a health and safety issue and it cannot be taken lightly. I'm really sorry. Once she has the treatment, she'll, she'll be fine. Fiona, you need to understand. She requires more attention than we can provide. She needs to be in a special care centre. Special care? Look, here is the list of contacts. If you need any help, I'm always here, okay? Tina, come on. Tina? Mommy, it's broken. We'll get you a new one. Just hold my hand, please. I want Peter to fix it. Hold my hand. We're going to be late. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm sorry. Why don't we just go home first, OK? Fiona, when did you get here? Not long ago. I don't know when I fell asleep. I get tired so easily these days. Is everything all right? Actually, I, um, I wanted to speak to you. You know how you, you said last time? I don't even know how to say it. Please, please just tell me. What is she doing here? Oh, Sarah. Dad, I thought I made myself clear. She's not welcome in this house. I, um, I better put these in the fridge. Sarah, it's not for you to decide. That woman is after something. I don't want her anywhere near you. Behave yourself, Sarah. There's no way to talk to her. You're a gullible old fool, Peter. I don't trust her. Anyway, you don't need her anymore. I've arranged for a full-time nurse. There's no need for that. And it's not as though I'm feeling abandoned by my family. You'd better apologise to her. Dear Peter, I hope you're getting well. I couldn't speak to you last time, but Tina has an eye disease. Her condition is getting worse, and she needs surgery. If you could help me, I, I promise I'll pay you back. Mommy, I miss Peter. Could be grand fan. Not today, sweetie. Peter's sleeping. How about we go and see him next Sunday? Is that OK? Promise? I promise. Stay here until I get back, OK?